Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I made this super easy and simple Mother's Day mug. Let's go. <laughs> For this design, we're using a 12 ounce camper mug. I've already sanded it and now I'm going to paint it gold using Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold. Once that's dry, we're going to apply our glitter using the epoxy method. So I'm applying less than one milliliter of epoxy to my cup and I'm using PDB Creative Studios Nude Glitter all over this little baby. Full coverage, just, just dump it on there. I let this dry for about six hours and then I went in with my first two coats of epoxy. I'm using CCDIY's Fast Set Epoxy and we're applying about 30 milliliters for each coat and I let them dry just about two to three hours in between each coat. Once they were cured, I went in and did a lot of really good sanding to make sure that my cup was completely smooth and ready for our decals. I use a 60 grit sanding block and a 220 grit and I just go in really gently to make sure that everything is perfectly smooth. If you have a lot of glitter sticking up or your cup just isn't getting smooth, rather than working yourself to the bone, sanding your cup to get it smooth, just do another coat of epoxy and then sand after that. It'll make things a lot easier. For the peekaboo, I'm gonna be using these floral outlines that I got on Creative Fabrica. I will have them linked in the description below. And I'm using Oracal stencil vinyl, but you can use Oracal 651, you can use 631. I just think the stencil vinyl is the easiest to remove after we've painted. I'm applying these flowers randomly around the cup, making sure that I leave enough space in between them so that it doesn't look crowded, but I do want them to be close enough so that you really get the effect of a floral look on here. I ended up using four flowers and just put them around the cup like this. And now we're ready to paint. I'm using Rustic Pink from Rust-Oleum and I'm gonna do two thin coats on this cup let it dry for, I think I waited like two and a half hours for this to dry, and I'm going to carefully now remove my stencil. I kind of got it lifted with my tweezers and then used my fingers to pick them up. We want to be very, very careful with this step because you don't want to scratch your paint and mess up your delicate peekaboo. Once your stencil is removed, you're ready for epoxy. For this coat of epoxy, I'm going to add in Pure from PDB Creative Studio. This has been my favorite thing lately to add this to epoxy to just give a little bit of a pearl kind of shine and finish. So I added about 20 milliliters of epoxy to a little tiny spoonful of Pure, applied it to my cup, and this is what it looks like. It just adds a little tiny bit of sparkle, which I love. So now we're ready for our decal. And I'm gonna give it to you straight. This vinyl sucks. This is Cricut Premium like Rose Gold Chrome vinyl. I just had it, I think I bought it when I first bought my Cricut like years ago. And I decided to use it and oh my God, it's so bad. It took me like 10 minutes to get the backing off of the vinyl, like a whole struggle. So I do not recommend this vinyl at all. Look at that paper, like a complete disaster. Anyway, I'm gonna prop my mug up using some blue tape to make sure that my cup stays straight. And I'm just gonna apply this decal like normal. Once it was applied and I pulled the transfer tape back, it looks really pretty, but getting to this point was a struggle. I'm definitely going to seal this decal with Quick Coat from CCDIY. I took a little bit in a medicine cup and just put it all over the cup. I like to just seal the whole cup, make sure everything stays even. I let that dry about 45 minutes and then I went in with my final coats of epoxy. I did two final coats, one of CCDIY Fast Set and then the final coat using Medium Viscosity Artist Resin. Once it was all cured, we were all done. This cup is super easy and was pretty fast. It only took me about two days to finish. So if you've got some last minute Mother's Day orders or you wanna whip something up really fast, this is a quick and easy way to get a really beautiful and elegant cup. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you are not already. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook group. The link is in the description. I'll be sharing some freebies, giveaways, discount codes, things like that in there. And follow us on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, all of those fun things. We are so excited to have you here and part of our community. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.